Alright, it's almost 10, 20 minutes to go to kick off here from the Collinwood Athletic Complex. And currently, both teams warming up. John Marsh and Collinwood in white. We have all the action on Collinwood.com. Myself, Sean Martin, and Ramel Thorpe. So we will be with it. Shoot, uh, probably hopefully be on there in about 10 minutes and ready to go. Again, as these two teams, teams battle it out for the Cleveland Senate Championship here at Collinwood Athletic Center. Looking to be a good matchup. Again, these teams have not played at all this year. So we will see. Great matchup. Last year was John Hay and Rhodes for the last couple years. So the tide has turned. It is now John Marshall and Colin. So we'll see it. Again, neither team has played each other all season. So this will be the first time. It'll be interesting to see what happens today. And again, we will have it on TalkShoe.com, hosted by the front row. Looking forward to that. Catch you soon with Ramel Thorpe, live in about 15 minutes. Kick off with that. Punt for uh, John Marshall. What did you see there? Uh, just, I feel like they put the ball out of uh, Deshaun's hands, and it's exactly what they did, but they gave him a good field position in the process. Okay, and on that first drive, the other play that we just moments ago led up to this punt for John Marshall, we saw a huge snap over number quarterback uh, number 22. Carlos Pyle's head, four, excuse me, 47, we saw it go over his head, so did not help their drive. No, but they were driving. They were able to move the ball by running. I haven't seen them pass yet, so we'll see how, how that plays out in the next series. Now, on warm-ups, they were you know, doing a lot of uh, pass plays, and looks like uh, he does have a good arm, number 47, Carlos Piles. So we're looking forward to seeing what happens here. Again, we're going to come in and out and do updates. We're going to leave it here for another play, and uh, Ramel, again, you're going to call this play, so it's all you, sir. <laughs> After a penalty, um, legal participation. These referees do not help the situation. No, there's no score. It's 7:29 to go here in the first quarter. Again, we're at the Collinwood. Oh, that penalty is going to set them way back. So. You called it, Jamal. You called it. Legal participation. Yes, sir. Not the way you want to start off the game. No, they're they're way back. Back. Men on the field. Now that gives you a big pushback, and Jayshon is still ready to receive this punt. John Marshall in the red, and Collinwood in white. Formation number 31, Julian Banks. Take this up. Ball will be spotted at the Collinwood 27 right. yard line. First and will have it at their own 27. And Ramel, again, you went to Collinwood. Tell us a little bit about Collinwood. Well, we were a great school back when I was there. And <laughs> we had a great, we had great teams. We just got bad at the wrong time. Uh, we got a lot of players coming through here. Ron Marshall, Cecil Shorts, the name of you. Cecil Shorts. Um, just, it was good to see them back in the city championship. They deserve it. They won. In the last four games in a row to get here in the four two in the conference. So it's good to see that it's a parody in the Senate once again. And both teams haven't ba been back in the Senate championship for quite a while, both teams, correct? Yeah, John Marshall hasn't been here since 2014, and Collinwood hasn't been back since 07. So let's see how they take advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. Jay Sean Bisco's back down in the back row. Oh, not a good start for Collinwood on that first on the first play of this uh, their first drive of the game. Before the game, Coach, we were emphasizing that they were battle tested. And one of the four out of their last five or six to get here, you can see that even with the games against Glenville and Euclid, that they were able to hold their own, just not been able to put up the points that they need. So we will see how battle tested they are coming into the, the city championship with low numbers. Another well, nice snap for Collinwood. Don't get very much out of that drive. So, all right, we're going to punch back out, and we'll be back in a few minutes for any more updates. We'll be right back. All right, Ramel. So, again, I'm with uh, Ramel Thorpe and Sean Bartzak again for the front row, and again it is third down for Collinwood and Ramel. Tell us yeah. what you see. Oh, I see that Marshall has, Marshall and Collinwood both have penalties and problems early on in the game, getting moved 
Hollywood has been able to move the ball, but they have to be able to move the ball without the penalties. Absolutely, and we just saw that's the second penalty in a row for Collinwood. Not good right now. I mean, penalty-wise, that's the second time they've gotten moved back. After a great catch momentarily we saw before by number seven for Collinwood. Could be the one. James Young does his pass attempt. Almost looked like pass interference, but great bait by number five. On the cover to John Simmons. Douglas has played the ball exactly how it's supposed to be. I know the Collinwood coaches are looking for a penalty, but no penalty there. It's just a great play. Fun formation, Ramel, for Collinwood. Once again, these punts for Collinwood and Marshall, respectively, have been bad, giving good field position where it's not needed. Find a way somehow to kill the penalties and kill the kill the bad field position and make this a better situation to be in as far as not having to worry about how much how close they are to the end zone. 2.29 to go in the first quarter. No score, Ramel, and are you surprised by that? No score so far. No, oh, honestly, I'm really not because this is just city. A lot of people don't give the city credit because during non-conference schedules, we don't see many city schools getting a victory outside of Glenville. But this is a black and blue league, which means everybody's going to beat up everybody during the conference. So during the conference, but you have to know, you have to see the guys every year in some way. So I'm not surprised by this being zero to the game at this point, because I mean, both teams have a chance at defense. Outside of Glenville, have one of the top, looking at the two, and the third best teams in the city. So I'm not surprised the defense is making this presence felt really. Also, these teams have not played each other this year in the Senate, so it makes for both teams to look around like, you know, we got to figure what yeah, each team's going to do. Yeah, both teams don't know each other this year. They haven't known each other in the last couple of years, like they, like they were before Marshall closed down to be rebuilt. But in my experience, you don't look past John Marshall because John Marshall is always finding a way to win. They won six of the last seven to get here. And outside of the Glenville game, I don't think, you know, they're, they're where they need to be as far as where they would like to be. I spoke with Coach Claggett earlier, and he said it's a blessing. They've been building this program for the last three years, so he's looking to make a statement the first year back. Wow, close one there. <laughs> Should have been intercepted. Three guys around there. Another defensive that's got to change. Uh, one, beat John Marshall and have to turnover battle. Second down, another penalty there, Ramel, for John Marshall. Yeah, John Marshall, those penalties are killing Marshall, and they need to get rid of these penalties and start finding ways to move the ball, because if you can't move the ball, you can't score. Right now, by number seven, we can't mark this ball. To my knowledge, the city championship has never ended at the top, so somebody has to win. And the thing of it is, too, we've seen, again, like you said, a lot of penalties here. I don't think we've even seen a first down so far. Yeah, we've seen a first down. Marshall's gotten a first down. And Collinwood's gotten the first down. You need more first downs in order to get to the red zone. So the more first downs that either team gets, the easier it is to score points. All right, so third down for the for the lawyers. Get your one the ball together. Go. Well, there we go. A nice run for Coach Marshall. It looks like Jay Jay all step. got them to the dance. So I'm thinking that Coach Clyde is going to stay with them. Marshall they do have a decent running game. With the running back, number 20. At the column, it's 23 yeah. yard line on a gain of 23 Rocks yards by and I number 11, Edgewan Williams. And his way into the record books, at least on John Marshall's side, they haven't seen a decent running back in years. All right. You get a first down. Speak up first down, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> a great running play there for John Marshall. 
51 Williams, the ball carrier, brought down in the back two. Rashid Brown, the ball again. carrier. Run out of bounds by the flag by Murray. There was a flag on the play. The quarterback probably didn't see what he wanted to see or see anything open, so I'm sure he just took off and ran, not by design, but it would help to get the ball moving and get the chains moving as well. Absolutely. We got a player down for Collinwood. Second down with John Marshall. 22 is down back to pass. Season opening. Pass the mock. Pass is Knocked down. Wait, great, by no, great play by number five. Uh, Michael Murray. Michael Murray getting the hand on the paw. As uh, Kirk Herbstreit likes to call it, a paw on the football. Ball is down. down by number five, Michael Murray. Third down, 12 from the Collinwood 20. Let's see how they react. Uh, they got too high safety, so it's cover too good. So we'll see how spreading them out and getting the ball together and getting the ball out to the playmakers is going to work. Andrew Long Williams, the ball carrier. Yeah, much. Absolutely no blocking on that. Rock on by number 51 there. Marshall keeps the offense on the field. They're looking to make a statement with this here, see if they can get the first down and punch it in. Please. It's intercepted by number eight. There's number number eight on the roster, so that looks like number nine, Jarius Fuller. Turnover, Collinwood. I kept saying early on in the game, first you win the turnover battle with Collinwood, you scored with the turnover. Big drive killer for John Marshall and Miles. They were driving there and just... Once again, penalties come into play. Penalties hurt you if you're getting backwards. You, can't, you got the ball in great field position. And you can't capitalize on it if you didn't move back by penalties. Go after it. Michael Murray, the ball carrier. Obviously, the big thing is do not get a safety over here or fumble for Collinwood. Yeah, you got to keep the ball in your hands and ball control in the red zone on your own side of the field. You need to have control of the ball. Martin Williams is back to receive. Hollywood's putting out of their own end zone, but you got to hope this is a match protect situation, and it's a bad kick, almost blocked. Collinwood barely gets it out to the 30 yard line. Or close and John Marshall will take over. John Marshall once again with good field position. Ladies and gentlemen, the Senate All Stars. Marshall once again, three by one set, three wide receivers, no false start. The the 22 is driving, he's looking to pass and throws it away, gets rid of it. This pass is over the line of scrimmage. And there's a flag on the play. It was an incomplete pass. If he was over scrimmage, they're going to be going backwards. Yeah, that's a legal forward pass. Legal forward pass, and this will be a loss of down, too. Oof. Loss of down, and I believe it's loss of yardage, too, so they'll be backed up as well as losing the down. Not a good play for John Marshall. Yeah, and these penalties are adding up, man. You get more yards and penalties than you are moving the ball. You gotta have some sort of balance, or your your positive plays have to outweigh your negative. We were just given that gift moments ago. Yeah, bad point. <laughs> Coming out of the end zone, and you were on the thirty. Now you're backed up to almost midfield. You guys have gotta know, as players, you have to know that these penalties are not gonna benefit you. If you're All causing them, you have the ball and you need to score before halftime. They need to spread the ball a little bit. You know, Collinwood's been stopping the run with the exception of a couple big plays. So I'm looking for Collinwood to get a stop. And I only get a stop, but you got to get another turnover. Even though you get the ball back at halftime. Even though it doesn't work, you still go for it because the punt here negates your drive and sends Collinwood back to the 25 after a touchback. Was this the game that you expected out of John Marshall and your team, or was this just a bad penalty half? Actually, 
actually what I expected. They're a good team. If they didn't have the issues that they had over there, they would probably be qualifying for the state playoffs. So they're a very good team. Excellent coach. I love the young coach over there, and he's actually a friend of mine. He's a good guy, and he knows his football. So they're, and they're doing a great job. So this is exactly what I expected. Yeah, you get the ball back at half. Mm -hmm. Are you changing the game plan, or are you going to stick with it until the big plays happen? Because we've seen how good your offense can be when the penalties are not in play and successful at execution. I, I feel like this. We should be up 21 to nothing right now. Because we let a couple get away. Uh, we got to catch the football. You know, we got to make sure there's no fumbles, no mistake. We got to play mistake-free football. And if everything goes right, then we're going to be there. We're going to be there at the end. And that's what we—that's what I've asked these guys to do: keep fighting, keep fighting. You know, they're not doing anything we haven't seen before. But they're, everybody's playing hard. Everybody wants a big trophy, and that's all we can ask for right now. All right, coach. See you in the second half. Hopefully all right, you bring it up here at Front Row Sports, coach. Going in zero zero at halftime. Is this the game you expected, or do you? I'm a little disappointed at the office right now. We got really got to get it going, especially on our blocks and stuff. And more execution. The plays are there, but we got to execute. Defense is playing phenomenal. Pursuing hard to the ball care, containing them for really good. Okay, you're you're losing the battle as far as penalties go in field position. Yeah. Are you? What halftime adjustments are you going to make to make sure that when you get the ball on the positive side of the field that you turn it? We just got to say mentally. You got to say mentally tough. I mean, we're trying to lose it a little bit. That's messing up the yards and stuff. So we just got to say mentally tough and focus and all the penalties to clean themselves up. Okay. Uh, last question. If I ran the ball, I've counted 27 times so far. What's wrong with the passing game? Are you just comfortable with running? Or do you well, think? yeah, the runs are there. We're just not blocking, really. And plus, the wind right now, so we're just sitting on the run right now. Okay, Coach, good luck in the second right, half. Thank you. Here comes John Marshall back out for the second half of play. No scorer here at the Senate Championship football game. Here at the Collinwood Athletic Complex. As they come back out for the second half against Collinwood. Oh, my bad. Come on, Marshall. There's Glenville. Regular season Senate champs. The Senate championship. John Marshall. And John Marshall, knock this out. Come on, y'all. Let's get this. Second half is underway. Second half kickoff between Collinwood and John Marshall. No score. Again, John Marshall in red, Collinwood in white. We'll have some more updates coming up. Again, no score, so we'll be back soon. Fourth down for Collinwood. Oh, they have an offsides. That's going to hurt. Collinwood will punt, Bester. Williams will return. Williams will be returned. Nice little return there. Gets it to the 50. Run out of bounds by number two, Jay Sean Stitt. At the John Marshall 49 yard line. Machine Foundry. This would be the perfect time for Collinwood to get a good return. They can use a field position. Punts away. And it takes a John Marshall bounce to the side and is out at the 10. Joey First and 10, Collinwood. All right, Ramel, you talked to both coaches uh, before before that half, and as they both went into the locker room, what were your impressions from both coaches? Okay, uh, for Collinwood, okay, Coach, Me uh, Coach Wheeler is great at the penalties. I mean, he's winning the turnover battle, but offense has been stagnant the first half. So we we'll hope, we'll hope to see more passing and more balanced run attack from Collinwood. On the other hand, you know, Coach Claggett with John Marshall was just as just as well mad about the penalties, but he feels like they can do, get better as the game goes on and we'll see what they do on defense. And following that first drive, stalling, we'll see how they come back out on the offense in the next series. First and 10, Collinwood at the 10. John Marshall.
Marshall looking to show blitz. It's a safety for Kyle and John Lester. Well, that could be the only points in this game. Let's hope not. <laughs> but then again, I have seen weirder things happen in the center. 2 nothing. John Marshall scores the first points of the game. And it's a defensive touchdown nonetheless. And John Marshall this season has been known to get defensive touchdowns. So credit to the defense for getting the sack and the safety at the same time. All right, so here we go, Ramel. Kick off after the safety. It's a short kick. John Marshall could run this one back. Run his back, but he stopped at the 25. Great return. Once again, the field position battle falls in favor of John Marshall. The Collinwood 22. Goes on the outside. Cole gets his team stopped down. Inside, inside the 15. Marshall on the 15. John Marshall looking to punch this in. Hand off of the middle. He stops short. There's a fumble. The referee saying it's down. Collinwood causing a lot of turnovers and ball handling issues. I'm not understanding why they can't capitalize on it. All right, Mel. John Marshall has the ball. Down their own three at the Collinwood three. Is that correct? Yeah, first and goal. Let's see if they, they've been running, running the ball pretty good this drive. Let's see if they finish it off and punch it in. Boundary on the outside. There's a flag on the play. And he stopped in the backfield. Swarmed on that play, Ramel. Big stop for Collinwood. If Collinwood can keep John Marshall out of the end zone on this drive, they have a shot to get back into this game. And it is 2 0 in favor of John Marshall on the safety on Collinwood. And after the free uh, free kick for Collinwood kicking back off to John Marshall, they got the ball down to the three, so now it's just a swarm tackle, but there's about. Six minutes to go here in the third quarter of play. Again, there was no score at the half. Ramel talked to both coaches. Yes, I did, and the halftime adjustments look good for John Marshall so far. They're still running the ball. Had a pass play in the last drive, but couldn't capitalize on it. Now they're backed up on the 20, so we'll see how that penalty affects play calling here for John Marshall. First down with that penalty, and now another timeout. Oh boy. All right, we'll be back. All right, so first down, a penalty for John Marshall, Ravel, and Kelsey Action. Yep, uh, 22. Ball on, the, on the corner, he's got a seam. Hits the high line, and he is. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Warriors. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Oh, and that's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Wow. Well, your thoughts on this? I didn't see the hole, but if it was a hole there, who knows? Is that probably a bad call or a bad time call, rather. Can't talk about the refs on the film. <laughs> That's a bad time call. Roundtree putting points on the board. Oh, Unfortunately, it's taken off. Good play call. Way to read the defense. So, Mel, we're seeing some you know, great action against 2 nothing. Uh, John Marshall in red and Collinwood in white. And again, we're seeing a good game here. Yeah, that's, and that's what you're going to get with the Senate. I know everybody looks at the Senate out, from the outside saying that these teams are weak and, you know, outside of Glenville, who else do they have? The Senate has a lot of teams that people don't pay attention to. And the problem is that they don't pay attention to it. They're missing out on good action, great football, great set of coaches in every school. And you're going to get kids who want to play and have a heart for football. Oh, he's got some room, Ramel. Cole's got some room. He's going to get stopped short. This is the longest first and goal, uh, goal yes, line situation is. I've seen. We're staying with it. <laughs> We're going to see what happens here. Again, it's 2 nothing. John Marshall. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. 
Appreciate everybody checking us out here in the front row. Again, I'm Sean Bartzak, along with my partner, Ramel Thorpe. Thank you, Ramel. You went to Collinwood. Yes, go rail rollers. <laughs> Where did you? I know you played in some big games. Where did? Where was the home field for Collinwood back then? Ah, uh, where wasn't the home field back then? <laughs> it was Bump Taylor, Kennedy, uh, sometimes Rhodes and Marshall. You know, they, we didn't have our own stadium back then, so everyone had to rotate. So you could have four hey, teams you know, sharing the field at any given time. Now, when you have a home game at Collinwood, it feels like a real home game because you are at home. We also wanted to mention, mention this from Mel. We, we also hope that uh, somehow that some of the Cleveland Browns see this, and hopefully they're here next year. They should be here at this game. They're yeah. at home tomorrow. They should be here. Yeah, and you got you know you got guys coming from local towns and local cities outside of Cleveland, like Kareem Hunt coming back. Yes. And buying tickets to the game for his alma mater, which is going to be South. Yeah. More and more guys, I feel, should come back because this is where it starts for most of us. Absolutely. Great coverage, almost a great pass play. Fortunate for that window pane there. <laughs> Fourth down. Well, Ramel, what are they doing here? So are they going to air it out again? No, it looks like Coach Claggett might kick a field goal. At least that's what it looks like. Okay. But you, in a game like this where it's strictly defense, you take the points where you can get them. All right, so again, there's about 3.40 to go here in the third quarter. Appreciate everybody checking us out. They are going for the field goal. For the 32-yarder, uh, it looks like. Good snap. And it is no good. Short. It is short. So it is still 2-0. And Ramel, your thoughts? Again, they went for the field goal, and again, ball fell short. Good choice, though, to go for it and try for the field goal. Yeah, you got to make a play to get more points on the board. And even though it was an unsuccessful field goal, you still gave yourself a shot to put more points on the board. All right, we'll be back in a few. Here, Ramel. Ooh. Got it away, Ramel. Yeah, I knew John Marshall was going to come after it. A nice roll there. <laughs> Not much. Twenty-five, rather. Penalties costly, Ramel. I told you these penalties add up. You can't score. You have to score in the red zone. Rodriguez's pass was complete. And touchdown, John Marshall. No, no, no good. flags this time either. No flags. <laughs> and also, you had two guys going up at the same time for the ball, Ramel. Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen when the quarterbacks get flushed out of the pocket or even in some trouble in the pocket. Luckily, the worst thing that could have happened is they could have dropped it. <laughs> yeah, true. But luckily, Rasheed Roundtree saw two receivers in the end zone and let the ball fly. And a muff kickoff keeps the Collinwood back in, inside the five yard line. This is not where you want to start as Collinwood. You're down nine points, 850 left in the game. Dangerous territory again, Ramel. Did he get out, Ramel? Uh, he got out. But he 
you didn't get the yardage you needed, you went backwards. It's it's not good to start running the ball here. At any given moment, you can just lose sight of the ball or lose sight of where you are on the field. It'll be about the time you throw yourself a short pass or maybe a quick post route here. Just to get it out of that end zone, correct? Yeah, just because you need it. Almost intercepted, quarterback throwing across his body. And as, as a quarterback, they teach you not to throw across your body. But apparently he saw a wide receiver that he thought was open but really wasn't open. And that could have been costly. Absolutely. Third down, Ramel, what do you think? Uh, I don't know what you have for third down and you're backed up on the one, but you got to get rid of the ball somehow. Give it, give it, give it. Rashad has got to make that catch. He makes that catch, he possibly scores and puts them back in the game. Now you have to punt it and hope you get off a good punt and they don't attack this. As you said, that was a good chance. Very good chance. He was, he was wide open. Very open, and all he has to do is just catch the ball. He catches the ball, he's probably downfield still running by now. <laughs> Instead, it's fourth down, and you have to give it back to John Marshall, whose offense is now clicking. Got a block here. Stepped out to safety. It's another safety. Put you down by 11 now. You give John Marshall the ball back. Ramon, we, I know we got to say this. is we didn't, Collinwood did not want this to happen this way, did they? No, they didn't. I mean, it's your first time back in the city championship since 2007 when you beat Rhodes. And can't have these kind of mistakes, especially if you're trying to win any kind of championship. And right now, I'm not, I'm not totally sure that they're out of it, but they have to get these stops in order to get pull themselves back into the game. There's still a lot of football left, and anything can happen. But it's true. You got to cut down on the penalties and the mental mistakes. So it's another free kick coming up for John Marshall. <laughs> Again, this is the second time today, again, as we had a safety that scored the first two points of the game. Defense has really showed up for John Marshall. They're showing up all year. So the score right now, 11-0 in favor of John Marshall with 7.37 to go. Like I said earlier, outside of the Glenville game, John Marshall is a couple wins away from being in the state playoffs, so they're not a bad team. Oh, fumble ball. I think it's recovered by John Marshall. Very lucky. All right, so Ramel Thorpe, we're seeing some good ball here again. Yeah, unfortunate, she, she unfortunate for Collinwood right there. Yeah, John Marshall's offense is finally clicking. And you've caused fumbles all game if you're Collinwood and you haven't got them back or you haven't forced a three and out since the second quarter. You have to learn and understand that every turnover and every chance to get the ball back benefits you because it keeps John Marshall's offense off the field. All right, so first down for John Marshall. Now you think they're gonna go through the air? No, they're gonna run the ball. You're up by 11, your running game has not been bad. You've been moving the ball on the ground. You can, you can afford to run out and chew up some clock and eat up the yards here. A little extracurricular activity there. Personal foul against John Marshall, correct? 
Yep. According to the white hat. This is Collinwood's 13th appearance in the city championship game. And, you know, I'm wondering if being here for the for the railroaders, with being here at a young with a young team and a young a young coaching staff has has built up a lot of pressure to win. Second twenty five. Second twenty five. That's that's difficult. is still running. Yes. Yeah. We've see, seen him run today, too. Don, did a very good job for John Marshall. Yeah, he's a fantastic kid, and you gotta, you gotta know that John Marshall has a lot of athletes, and because they have a lot of athletes, they have a, a vast play selection that they can call to get the ball to their best athletes at any given moment. He beat the coverage, he was wide open, had to contort his body a little bit, but as I was told as a kid, if you and a receiver. If you touch the ball, you're supposed to catch it. Sorry, we missed that play. Went too far down the field. Third down. Oh, there's the flags. And one of the guards jumped for John Marshall. All right, we're going to step out. We'll be back. She and Brown, she is brought down in the backfield. They swarmed all over that time, Ramon. Yeah, like I said, Collinwood's been able to get the defensive pressure. The problem is they can't contain or keep control of the ball long enough to actually to produce points and turn this into something offensive. So the final is 11 to nothing, Ramel. What did you see there? Well, I saw a defense. You know, when you're looking at these two teams, you see Collinwood won the last four out of their five to get here, and John Marshall six of seven. Sure, if they're gonna do their uh, the line. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it. Trophy, they got it up now. Wow. Did you get to hold that up now, the trophy? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna set out. Thanks again for checking us out. Appreciate it. Coach Wheeler, mm -hmm. I know the game didn't go how you wanted it to, but it's a good step in the right direction. Do you feel 
you can build off of this for next year? I certainly hope so. Um, with some changes with the rules and uh, some th other things that's happening in the Senate right now, we'll probably have a few more kids, which would be helpful because, you know, we're playing Ironman football. They got with 35. I had 16 today. So it makes a difference, but that, that wasn't the reason why we lost. Um, they were a better team today. Offense probably, I'm sure, it wasn't where you wanted to be, mm -hmm. but you still made strides in that. I know you got a young team. I know some of the guys are coming back. Do you feel like you can make another run at the city championship next year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm stressing winning the conference. You know, we were four and two in the conference, so as long as we keep that mindset, and if we can steal a, a out of conference game, that's fine. Winning the conference, everything else take it'll take care of it. Uh, last question. Um, do you feel I saw you over there congratulating Coach Claggett. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you were good friends with him earlier. Do mm -hmm. you feel like now he has bragging rights? You, you guys are gonna have a war of words over no lunch, over lunch or no no nothing like that no. Uh, like I said, he's a he's a good guy. He's done an excellent job over there. Like I said before, if they didn't have the unfortunate situation, they would probably be playing in the state playoffs right now instead of being here. So they deserve to be here. They were the better team today. They deserve to win. Um, that's, that's it. You know, no sour grapes. Our kids can have no reason to hold our heads down or anything like that. We, we tried hard. The game was much closer than what the score indicated. And it was only 11 to nothing. Right. All right, Coach. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Sweet though. All right, Romel Thorpe here with Coach Claggett and John Marshall. Coach, you just saw your first city championship for the school in 25 years. First year back. What does this mean going forward? That I just told the kids when they talk about the great programs in the city that they got to put us on the map now. That was Glenville, John Hay, and now Marshall's on his way. So it's, it, when they talk about what started the trend to get us back on top, they'll start with this team. All right, Coach. You missed the game, missed the playoffs by a couple of games. Do you feel this would take over as far as you know building the program back to make a state playoff run? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like a lot of kids, a lot of interest been going. A lot of kids that wanted to join the last weeks because we've been doing so good. So I feel like we're gonna have a big turnout next season, and hopefully, you know, we got our returners coming back and we build on what we worked on this year. Okay, last question: Are you gonna? Are you gonna hit Coach Wheeler with a nan nan? This is for Brian <laughs> yeah. Wright. No, I love Coach Wheeler. I mean, ever since I took over three years ago, he's always been a good supporter, a great advice, and I respect him so much respect for Coach Wheeler. I mean, he, I'm happy that I played against him today because I mean, he deserved he deserved it. All right, Coach. Um, that was a joke. But the yeah. last question: <laughs> you got you got a lot of kids coming back. Your program's looking good at so far. Are you are you prepared to? Give them a little run for their money. I mean, that was good. We played them really tough this year, and uh, we, we got to keep it working. We know we made a lot of mistakes in that game that killed us, and we just got to keep it going. All right, Coach, thank you. Congratulations right, thank again. You. Appreciate it. Kick off in about 15 minutes. John Marshall versus Collinwood for the Cleveland Senate Championship here at Collinwood Athletic Center. Looking forward to this. They have With Ramel Thorpe, we're at Collinwood Athletic Complex. We're mm -hmm. So far, what is what is our score, Ramel, right now, currently? 0-0, zero, zero, and I'm not surprised. <laughs> Collinwood and John Marshall, and we're doing this. We're going to do stuff on, uh, excuse me, on uh, Periscope, and we also have some other videos we'll have on YouTube later. So we'll keep uh, going on Periscope on the front row, and we'll have some updates coming up. We're doing this play live right now. Ramel's going to call this one. First and ten after change of possession, and there's a fumble on the play. There's a fumble on the backfield. See who comes out of the pile. The referee second by down. Collinwood. Collinwood has to keep control of the ball. Covered by Rashad Martin. Be a successful drive. Oh, Start out in their first two place. possessions. Let's see how well. Second down. Third. Thankfully, couldn't get the ball downfield, but it hurts Conway now because you're backed up in your own. 